Georgia's capital city on guard, awaiting the high-profile surrender of former President Donald Trump and 18 co-defendants by noon August 25th in a sweeping criminal indictment alleging they conspired to reverse Trump's 2020 election loss to Joe Biden. Will he appear by himself? Will he appear with the other defendants? But we will find out in the next week. And a joint investigation now underway by the FBI and the Fulton County Sheriff's Office into threats to county officials involved in that election case. The Fulton Sheriff saying his office is coordinating with other law enforcement agencies to trace the source of online threats to grand jury members who voted to indict Trump saying anyone responsible for making threats will be arrested and prosecuted to the fullest extent of the law. Trump on Fox News attacking his latest charges. It's a witch hunt. It's just a continuation of a witch hunt. The former president also now canceling a Monday news conference where he claimed he would present a report exonerating him. Posting on social media that his lawyers would prefer putting this in formal legal filings. Legal experts not ruling out Trump's attorneys may push to move his Georgia case into federal court. They probably, for their own purposes, would feel more comfortable with, um, you know, more conservative counties included in their jury pool. And here in Washington, Trump's defense team is requesting his trial in the special counsel's 2020 election interference case be pushed to April 2026, citing an overwhelming amount of evidence. The judge will hear from both sides in a pretrial hearing set for August 28th. Justin Finch, ABC News, Washington.